Well, currently biofuels predominantly made from corn are being converted into ethanol in well over 100 refineries across the country. Yet researchers and economists agree there's a better, more efficient way. Switchgrass and other native prairie grasses are showing great potential as alternative fuel sources, sparking an emerging industry and the focus of the GROW conference in Oklahoma City. It's an issue affecting commuters every day. The increasingly high price of oil. Yeah, I mean, you know, if uh, the price of oil remains high, it's going to keep driving the industry to get cheaper alternative sources of, uh, of fuel. Or biofuels. Right now, some states throughout the country and Canada are using a starch-based ethanol, an alternative fuel source made from corn. And while corn farmers are benefiting from the new market, Oklahoma farmers and ranchers aren't so happy. It's going to cost our farmers and ranchers three times the feed bill uh, if we're going to use corn. But switchgrass, like we talked about, marginal land, uh, non-productive land, this stuff will grow. It gives another option for our farmers and ranchers as well. Oklahoma, geographically, we're located perfect. We're right here on I-40, right here on I-35. We have probably the best access to the rail uh, distribution system in America, whether you be going south to the Gulf or whether you be going to the east coast or the west coast. A biofuels discussion that is bringing the agriculture, biotechnology, and energy industries together at Governor Brad Henry's annual GROW conference. I see the current oil and gas companies already very interested in biofuels, already making investments in the biofuels industry. Uh, we need to show them that we're a leader and attract them to Oklahoma, build those refineries, uh, get the transportation infrastructure in place. There's been a lot of research done, and, uh, and now there's uh, even some plants that are going up, you know, as these demonstration scale plants that the DOE is starting to co-fund with, with private investors. So the industry's growing. It's just going in fits and starts, you know, but, but uh, it's moving, and it's moving in a positive direction. Creating a sustainable, homegrown future in alternative fuels.